The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Hey, welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. Now it's just, uh, I had a little problem and I had to get it solved before I could go on the air today. Uh, we will continue on, uh, as always, as we say, it doesn't really matter where you're at as long as when the appointed time comes, you are here. <clears throat> the following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, what do we have going on today? Well, a whole lot of nothing. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to say it's a surprise. Uh, I said in my newsletter this morning I didn't expect a lot for today and actually said rather flat. Uh, and... Uh, you know, we've got a few things going on here uh, this week, but uh, we get into options expiration on, what is that, on Wednesday. So we got a couple of days like that. We've got earnings coming up and, you know, much going on today. Probably not. Uh, we'll look at some of the ones that were on earnings. After the bell tonight, we've got Chegg, which is uh, not a big deal. Take two. Uh, Amgen, Simon Property Group, we'll find out what they're saying about real estate. Tenant health care, eh, that's kind of it. Uh, when we look at tomorrow morning, we've got Pfizer, Cody, uh, British Petroleum, Cisco, the one that is the food uh, company, not the one that's the router company. I think uh, one of those two needs to change their name. Uh, Harley Davidson. Eh, interesting. Warner Music, eh, that's kind of it for tomorrow morning. Uh, Peloton Interactive, of course, uh, a lot of rumors going around the, uh, about them and maybe Apple buying them. Seems like kind of an Apple company. Um, very expensive, uh, you know, maybe twice as expensive as what you get for other things. Uh, but uh, all about uh, the name recognition kind of company. Digital Turbine, Corsair Gaming, and, uh, Chipotle, Mexican Grill, Enphase Energy. Uh, Enphase got to going to be a real interesting one. Uh, Lyft, uh, Travago. Uh, then we get into Wednesday of this week where we have CVS Healthcare, Canopy Growth. Man, did those things uh, go up in smoke? See what I did there? Anyway, uh, Weed. The Devils, what do they call it? The Devils something. Can't remember right now. The Devils something. But, uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Got a private message here. And uh, what else? Uh, that's it. No, it's not Lezzy or Larry Pesavento. It is me, Dave White. I was just a few minutes late uh, because he <laughs> apparently... Uh, if you're watching battery-powered clocks and it gets cold, the batteries slow down. And it must have happened over the last day or so. But I was looking at the thing, and it said about 2 o'clock. So I went over to sit down for my show, and it was uh, saying the show starts in 30 seconds. I'm thinking, uh-oh. ruh -ro. Anyway, uh, Yum Brands. Uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, that's on Thursday. Disney, a lot of people scratching their heads on the, that one. Could go one way or the other. Uber. So we have uh, both Lyft and Uber this week. Sonos, uh, Twilio, Zynga. Uh, Zynga, I guess, getting bought out, so that's not such a big deal. Um, uh, Mattel and MGM iRobot. That's always one that Seems to have some pretty wide swings after hours. Equifax, uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts, which I think last time uh, kind of disappointed. Uh, now on the 10th, we've got Twitter, 
PepsiCo, this is before the bell. Uh, and if I do it right, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, Twitter, PepsiCo, AstraZeneca, Coca-Cola. Why are Pepsi and Coca-Cola out on the same day? Why is that? That's just... It's just weird, isn't it? Phillips Morris, uh, Dated Dog, which I saw was up earlier in the day. We'll take a look at that today. Tapestry, uh, another one that uh, did well in the shutdowns, but uh, we'll see what happens. After the bell Thursday night, we've got a firm holdings, uh, Zillow Group, uh, Cloudfair, Aurora Cannabis, uh, Callaway Golf, uh, Expedia. I'm thinking about now is time that I'm starting to uh, look at the uh, shutdowns and maybe uh, the moves uh, off of these. Let's take a look at Boeing. I think Boeing is going to tell us right off uh, when the bottom is in for travel. I don't know if you want to pay at that time play Boeing or something else. But you've had a nice uh, test of the lows. Let's go back here and uh, reset this. Uh, you had a nice test of the lows. The downside was the volume was about the same. So I've kind of sat back. You've got a nice bounce out here. Would be very nice if Boeing would come back down to maybe around 200 bucks on just no volume. Uh, it's got no volume last three days. So I don't think we've made a low in uh, travel just yet. Zendesk, what else do we have? Uh, Applied DNA Sciences, APDN. Uh, and GoDaddy. Yeah, they've, after they uh, decided to change their marketing, I think they've lost their mojo. Cleveland Cliffs on Friday morning, uh, Under Armour, uh, Goodyear Tires, Inbridge, Sensitive, Magna International, and uh, Dominion, uh, Dominion Energy. Anyway, uh, let's get to, uh, oh, I think I've got those right. Uh, I should have them up. Uh, the three-day rule, wanted to get to that. I had a pe couple people already emailing me. And that is um, about uh, Facebook, um, Metamucil, whatever you want to call it. They were out doing evil again this weekend. I guess they haven't uh, learned. Uh, but uh, certainly that big gap down, was it 70, yeah, the 7th? Um Tomorrow will be the third day, so I still wouldn't do anything to that the way I count it. So uh, you got uh, Friday, Monday, right? Is that right? Uh, okay. Uh, I was turning those off for a second. So you have the second, the third, and oh, I'm missing the fourth. I'll have to figure that out during the break. Um, let's do this so I can get back on here. It's the third day, right? I thought that was right. Here we go. Um, so you got first day, second day, third day. So it would be tomorrow. I guess that's why everybody's uh, emailing me on this. But uh, I'd say if you've got a big gap, the three-day rule applies all the time. It's just too easy to lose money. But uh, we shall return like uh, the car to the Philippines or bad rash all return after this Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, got a lot of questions here. Let's do a little history and then we'll move on. But uh, yeah, just uh, light and variable. Light and variable is what we have. But uh, uh, yeah, flat on the NASDAQ, up five on uh, the S&P. But again, wasn't looking for a lot today. 877-927-6648. Uh, and uh, what else do we have going on here that I wanted to talk about? Oh. We wanted to talk about some history. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 2003, after losing a chess match to the computer Deep Blue in 1997, world chain, uh, chess champion Gary Kasparov and the computer Deep Blue Jr. battled to a draw finally. And of course, uh, very interesting in that uh, his mother was watching him. Uh, what kind of mother uh, watches uh, somebody play chess? Not exactly sure. Uh, I mean, it's not, uh, it's, what is it, up there with uh, golf, maybe? I mean, you can almost watch golf. I don't know if you can watch uh, chess, but it's kind of probably interesting. Of course, uh, one of the first games attacked, uh, complex games attacked, uh, with computers, and uh, like I said, they started in 1997. By 2003, uh, you couldn't beat a computer after that. Uh, you could tie, as he did, and that basically that was his strategy, uh, was to uh, run to a draw. But uh, no one's really tried since then, and generally a lot of people think, well, if you can do that, you can do everything else. Uh, it's all a matter of percentages, though. And the idea of uh, extrapolating that to the stock market um, had a lot of people very interested, uh, thinking they could destroy the stock market. Then um, computer, uh, I mean, uh, uh, chess, a much different game than the stock market. It was a much, uh, the stock market, much more like poker than chess. In chess, uh, the, they call it uh, in, uh, in, what is it, uh, the some branch of science? I'll think of it in a second. Uh, everything is known. Literally, when you see the chessboard, both 
opponents uh, figure it uh, and know exactly where everybody's standing. There's no hidden cards like poker. I want to try to think. Uh, I don't think of it. Uh, anyway, uh, on this day in 2003, uh, you can't beat a machine, at least at chess, anymore. And, of course, uh, only three years ago, uh, the uh, Asian game of Go, which is played with little stones, kind of a, a bigger version of, uh, of uh, some of the other games. Uh, and you know what? It took him that long for that one, but uh, much uh, more complex than chess. And slowly... Uh, the machine learning has uh, started to defeat a game where, uh, or games like poker, by just reducing the complexity and capitalizing on the errors of players. But pretty much now thought that you're not going to beat over time a computer using uh, machine learning uh, in poker either. But uh, eh, we're all just waiting one day to serve our uh, uh, our computer overlords. But uh, hadn't been able to do that other than a very short term on, uh, on the stock market, uh, although people still try. Uh, humans are still better at it for the most part, uh, unless you're talking about in milliseconds. Um, what did we want to go back here? Eh, I wanted to talk about the last thing. And since we left on Friday, actually, this started to come up. Uh, we're starting to price in a 50% chance now of a half a percent hike in March. So just know that uh, people are getting fairly bearish about uh, the push to get this going faster uh, rather than later and sooner rather than later. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I don't think I think it's pretty hard for anybody to start uh, handicapping this and saying that we aren't probably going to get four rate hikes, if not five, and maybe two and one, uh, to get things uh, back to normal back in March. Give me a call eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Got a couple of questions out here. The first one is from Nancy. She says uh, she's from uh, she's in a cold and rainy Washington. I'm in a cold but free state of Florida. Uh, I think the sun may come out here a little bit. I'd like to take on the outly, uh, the uh, likely outcome of lawsuits against Apple on their App Store fees. They've lost it all. Uh, they will lose in court. I've read enough about antitrust. Uh, you've got an incredibly uh, aggressive antitrust uh, person in the FTC now. She spent her life writing about antitrust cases and the ones that got away uh, before now. But uh, not much going on in it. Uh, what's your view of the stock price? I guess is the eventual question here. Where's my? There we go. Let's take a look at Apple. Of course, uh, it's uh, heaven or hell on earnings these days. Not a lot of in between. Uh, you're not going to purgatory after earnings. Uh, you're going straight one way or the other. Uh, certainly light volume today. My guess is that this is probably going to come back to about the 162.50. So is that the end of the world? No. Um, going to hold up better than the market? Yes. If this starts going down, is it taking everything with us? Yes, but it'll probably be fairly slow. I don't see a lot going on in that. Uh, thanks for the uh, email, Nancy. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, to, to, to Eddie? Uh, basically, same questions. I'm worried about Apple basically wandering since their pop on earnings. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, any uh, prediction on NVIDIA? On that. Uh, the big question is how far do you handicap uh, the, um, the issue with China invading Taiwan? Um, we found out now, or at least over the weekend, and some new books uh, with uh, prodigious, prodigious uh, documentation that literally everybody uh, in leadership positions in uh, Washington, D.C. have been bought in one way or the other, um, from the minority leaders to the majority leaders. Uh, all the way up uh, to the highest office of the land 
have received uh, tens of millions of dollars. Um, even the uh, old, uh, or I believe you called it, I want to say old, but the previous uh, Speaker of the, or not Speaker of the House, Speaker, uh, President of the Senate, uh, continues to get about $10 million a year from China. Uh, and of course, uh, all the people that have emailed me, I just, about uh, do I think uh, Congress will ever stop trading stocks? Well, you got a Speaker of the House that uh, has made $250 million on special deals. I don't think so. I think they are so bought off, literally just about everybody in both sides. I'm not going to throw rocks at either house. Uh, very tough to think. I, I, I'm in Taiwan shoes. You know, all your friends that are bought off. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, as I said, uh, there's a discount. I don't know what that number is yet. It's probably going to take a little while to get. Uh, for NVIDIA and AMD and anybody else in the semiconductor business uh, that has uh, a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, well, they're basically committed to Taiwan Semiconductor, who makes 80% of the stuff that we buy. Uh, the rest is pretty much, I mean, of the high-end chips. I'm not talking about low-margin stuff. But if you're talking about 
processors that cost 500 bucks. If you're talking a chip that it comes on a roll at 10 cents a piece or a dime or 10 for a dime, depending on what the, some of them are. Now they're that cheap or ridiculously cheap. That doesn't change much of anything. But uh, if you're, you know, making chips that you pay 200 bucks for and you sell them for 2000 and that money gets cut off, what is AMD worth? Um, and what is in uh, video worth? And, you know, you don't need to burn the entire building down. Um, you could walk around with a hammer in five minutes uh, at a fab and take it down for two years. Um, so, you know, if they start invading, will uh, will they go scorch earth? I don't know, but maybe, maybe somebody will. Uh, so we could be out of uh, semis for two years. And is it a 50% chance? Probably not. But uh, I started off uh, maybe uh, six months ago at 5%, and I think it's more at 20 or 25%. So still a, uh, still a issue hanging over our heads. And, of course, everybody, uh, Russia, 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 um, why that's an important thing. Um, just imagine tomorrow not being able to buy a computer for two years. Because that is really a year or two years, and then we'd still have to buy it from the Chinese, which they would probably wouldn't let us, which means you got to build everything back up here. Uh, who would, I do have an email here, it says who would, if that does happen, who would benefit? A handful of companies have uh, fabs here in the United States, of course, Intel being uh, the biggest. So, but the problem is there's so many of the other chips uh, that you would still need uh, you certainly wouldn't have any computer monitors. That's 100% Asian. Uh, so you got nothing like that. You might be able to get it from South Korea because they're a big manufacturer of that. But literally everything would grind to a halt uh, for the uh, China-Taiwan-produced uh, monitors. So maybe you could still buy a computer. Uh, but certainly that would be a problem now. Intel... Uh, besides having locations here in the United States, has some lesser facilities in Malaysia. Uh, but uh, there are big other place in the world, uh, other than uh, farming out an entire production run to Taiwan Semiconductor in a new factory that's in the north of Taiwan, uh, is in Israel. Uh, I was uh, reading a uh, fairly lengthy piece about uh, how long they've been in Israel and everything else yesterday. Uh, but uh, certainly a very interesting market. But one of the few companies that does have a at least a uh, 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 a spot somewhere else other than the United States and uh, Taiwan or China. So that uh, I think Tower Semi is another big one in Israel. There's a handful of them there. Uh, Israel is a, a fairly big monster in semiconductor design. Uh, we've seen a lot of their companies go public over the last couple of years uh, for ideas, uh, both in semis and other kinds of tech stuff. But interestingly enough, a uh, highly educated state uh, where uh, I think they have about three times the amount of, uh, of uh, PhDs uh, per capita. They also have twice as many uh, degreed engineers uh, as we do. They're a smaller country, but... Still uh, pretty big. But other than that, Intel has us. Uh, we have one small um, fab that moved from Taiwan to uh, uh, Arizona. My understanding is that's not going to be online until the end of this year. But uh, they did send almost everything in the fab in containers. Uh, going to be, what, three, four months ago now? Uh, when it started coming up. So it's going to be an interesting thing. But uh, the, the the one thing that you don't want is one place, a uh, single place of failure in case of a flood or an asteroid or invasion. And uh, that is still going to, I think that there's going to be a discount for a long time uh, on this until that gets settled one way or the other. 877-927-6648. Okay. 
Okay. Question. Uh, new subscriber to your newsletter. How do you know that the market's not going to move very far uh, after reading your newsletter? And we're just going sideways here today. Uh, thank you, Andy. Um, mostly by looking at options. Uh, they have just collapsed. I had one idea for a particular play today. Uh, and... Yeah, would it have been a bad play this morning? Yeah, but it, my guess is uh, it's going to be hard to beat the decay on it. Uh, but that's about it. But, uh, yeah, until Wednesday, I suspect you're probably going to see the VIX continue to drop. Uh, but uh, UVX-wise, oh, about 7%. But I think you're going to see that. And, of course, uh, uh, oh, I forgot to look at that today. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Is this a quad witching month? I forgot to check. I was going to check this morning. Uh, quad over witching months. Right. Okay. I'm just tired. Worked all weekend. Okay. Where is that listed? Should be on here. Okay. Third Friday of March, June, September, and December. Okay. Uh, so still a good month to probably make predictions with options. Uh, you get into quad witching and you get a lot of cross currents. It makes it even tougher, but, um, they've pretty much, uh, options pretty much are starting to collapse. And that's probably a fairly good indication that you're going to go sideways, at least for a handful of days. Now we've got some earnings. Um, I went through them, uh, at the very top of the show. Those, uh, all tend to be, probably a little higher if the numbers are good or probably massively lower if the numbers are not. So I think we've got a, a week like last week where you might have one Apple that outperforms and then three or four companies that actually get uh, uh, eviscerated on it. Uh, another question on Facebook. Um, yeah, I think that everybody's trying to figure out what's going on here, but you've blown through the gap uh, to this morning. You don't have a lot of volume, uh, but you do have a gap that just blowed through on Facebook. That was on uh, July 31st of 2020. Gap up on 53 million shares. So what do we have now? Got 65 million shares. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it could seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Data White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, question about Apple. On Friday, you said it was going to close around uh, 172.50, uh, plus or minus a quarter. And you also said that you thought it was going to be on the high side. It was a little on the low side. What did it close at, actually? 172.39. Um, so you had a dime, 11 cents uh, lower. Uh, yeah, it's just if, if you want to start looking at options, and seeing out how you can predict the future. It's going to take you probably a year of looking at them. Uh, but you can probably get a little jump start farther uh, than I did. Because when I started off, there were no weekly options that really mattered. Um, still, they don't matter. And I'd say 98% of the stocks. Apple does have enough volume in them that they are fairly predictive. So you can get a fairly good idea. Uh, if you just wanted to look, as I did, uh, and just casually even as I did on Friday without running any of my more complex models, just look where the, the, uh, where the, where the biggest amount of options are uh, that would go uh, unused close to the current price, and that's probably where Apple's going. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the biggest market maker for Apple is uh, uh, William Buffett. Uh, they're out of his Omaha. And he rather famously in the early 2000s called options sewage, uh, called them trash. Uh, his cohort, what's his name, Mull something or whatever, um, called them uh, uh, weapons of mass destruction. Uh, and, of course, now they own the biggest uh, options, uh, really market-making operations. And this is where it's so easy to make money for, app, uh, for somebody like Buffett to make money. And that is that he already owns the stock. So if it starts going down, he can sell more calls against it. And if it starts going up, he can sell puts against it. And he's kind of making money both ways. But uh, always, I always said uh, uh, using the big men of Wall Street to advise you in the stock market is kind of like having your boyfriend or your, uh, your ex-wife's boyfriend attorney handle your divorce for you. Is probably not a good idea. Okay, what else do we have? Um, do I think this is going to be kind of what we're doing here until Wednesday? Um, kind of. We may be a little bit on the high side here. I mean, we're up, what, three-tenths of a percent or something, but I don't think there's a whole lot. It's going to be a step forward, step back. Uh, and really, I think we're waiting for earnings, and I'm waiting for the market to go delta neutral. Um, let's see, COP. Let's take a look at that. Um, questions about options. Um, I don't have a good read on it. I'll try to get it before the end of the show. Uh, but uh, again, really Wednesday, they make so much more predictive power than they do today 
that uh, maybe you want to email me on Wednesday or Thursday morning because that's really when these things start lining up. They go delta neutral. For people new to the show, delta neutral is when uh, option market makers think they're taking too much risk. They've had options out for 30, 60, 90 days. And those options, the premiums have slowly, uh, hopefully, uh, run out and they've collected all the extra cash if everything went kind of nowhere. Uh, it is kind of like being in an arms business where you're selling to both sides. You hope uh, that uh, both sides just continue the fight and continue to buy the arms from you. If one is uh, looking like they're going to lose, maybe you need to give them a little bit more uh, uh, gratis to keep the war going on so at least you have one customer. Um, and you never know about that. But that's kind of what they're doing. They're always buying and selling and hedging positions. If they've got, uh, uh, if they're long the equity, they're short. Pro I mean, they're if they're long the equity, they're probably selling puts. If they're uh, short the equity, they're probably buying calls. They're wanting to box each side in and hope that the market, as it does about 80% of the time, really doesn't go anywhere. Now, if you've got, uh, let's say, 2,000 stocks that have decent options positions written on them. Uh, about 100 of them actually are the top 50% uh, of all options, like Apple. So if you look at those, you can get a pretty good idea. You're just looking where the most money amount of money is going to be lost if uh, the stock um, actually uh, ex uh, goes, the equity goes to that position at expiration so we're talking what uh today's monday so nine trading days out uh, as i said though they really tend to move the market around there's always uh in fact i went back and did a study of it there's always a lot more upgrades and downgrades right around that uh eight days before and that is they want to get the market moving higher and lower so they can get into those positions and uh, sneak under the radar if they just added a thousand puts or calls to a position and uh, or tried to buy them and had somebody else uh, write them it would be pretty uh, pretty noticeable so uh as all big uh like uh, elephants know you're not going to get into a still pond and not make some ripples uh, if you make some ripples and then make uh, your trading in those uh, moments, it's a lot easier to hide. Uh, question about Oracle, O-R-C-L. One that really surprised me, but, you know, is, there's a reason why I don't try Oracle that much. And that is it's one of those companies I talk about, uh, Planeteer and Booz Hamilton. You just, if you're not. Uh, locked into the Fortune 500 companies that deal with them. You know just about almost nothing about what's going on in the company. There's very little advertising. They're very uh, tight-lipped. Um, I never understood why it got to 106. There are a lot of options for databases uh, that are getting significantly cheaper. And I'm going to say uh, I'm working with one now that is significantly better, at least for what I'm working on. Um so is there a reason to buy all that money for Oracle? It's becoming less and less a issue. Uh, I think that they there's a part where IBM would just cater uh, to the Fortune 500 uh, and make their problems go away. That's Oracle's kind of job now uh, for at least databases. And if you're a big company, uh, especially in finance, uh, where you're talking about dollars and cents, uh, you don't want that Superman show on where, uh, what was the name, guy's name, comedian, uh, that was stealing a tenth of a cent on every transaction. Maybe some of it will see. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Anyway, what was his name? He died a few years ago. Richard Pryor was in Superman, and he was cutting off just a tenth of a cent on all the transactions, and he ended up with a ton of cash. Can't remember which Superman that was. None of them were really, really good movies. But I don't remember that. Anyway, Oracle making sure that people don't get away with a tenth of a cent here and there with their databases on finance. Uh, but, uh, yeah, very tough company to read because you don't know what's going on inside it. Uh, the chart doesn't look that good, though. We'll be back in a
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we have a question from Z in the Den about a handful of the gold miners out here. Uh, you just uh, been kind of going sideways out here on light volume. This kind of looks to me like some kind of larger consolidation pattern in the uh, low to mid 1800s on the gold itself. I don't see anything out here. Uh, my guess is that you'd have some, maybe you got some good moments before uh, the next Fed um, uh, meeting in March. But uh, if they go half a percent on that, it's going to be very tough on gold. Um, more of a triangle pattern here where I probably uh, see into that meeting higher highs, or excuse me, lower highs and higher lows. So I don't see a lot in here that indicates that this is going one way or another, uh, significantly anyway. NEM also out here. Um, the energy off the bottom is not that bad. It's just the sideways action with no volume is uh, rarely a good thing. You got a big candle comparatively today in this, and you still don't have a lot of volume. Uh, if the market starts heading down, they will sell everything. Generally, gold, the metal, holds up much better than the miners themselves. Uh, so I think what you're looking for is some kind of realization that, that the markets have stopped going lower and that we're not going to get half a, whack, a half a percent at a whack as uh, many people started believing on Friday. 
So, you know, with good numbers uh, comes uh, a little bit of overhead in the market. I think that overhead is in the uh, gold stocks here. But uh, unless we get something that changes the psychology of at least a highly, and I wouldn't say highly, at least a flip of a coin for a half a percent in March, I think that's problematic. Uh, we're done for today. Uh, for those people I didn't answer their questions, I will email them after the show. See you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to.